Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today is um, a small project share using some more of my Scrap Diva Designs design team package dies. So um, this really is kind of a fall type one and I've made a few things already that I've shared. Some of the sunflower bag toppers and a pumpkin and just stuff like that. Um, so what I'm going to share with you today is some other things that I've made. Um, one of them is going to be um, the keychain set number two. Okay. And then also the um, jelly bag uh, no, jelly bag, bag tote number two. <coughs> I also made a card using the door mini album. Um, you've already seen this, but I'll show, show you again. Um, the Trek uh, mini album that I made a box out of at the very beginning when I, it's the first die I put together and did. And then here's the ruffle border set and the fall shaker plates. So I've used all of those in um, the things that I'm going to share with you today. So anyway, first up, I think I posted this on my um, Instagram page, but Anyway, this is the Jelly Tote number two. This is a very good sized die. Look at that. It holds a lot. So, I can't remember if I, I don't think I'd put this on a video yet. Um, if I did, sorry, <laughs> you'll see it again. But here's one of the flowers from the um, small um, sunflower bag topper set. I just used the flower part, made it a shaker a shaker inside there so I did share this making this um, on, a, on a little um, tutorial video then I just layered up some flowers and some sprigs and some more leaves I used the ruffle border <clears throat> one of the, the biggest one right here and I threaded threaded I thread some I think be thread or threaded <laughs> I put some some uh, I weaved some black and white ribbon in in and out of the things uh, in and out of the spots for the that you can do that with and I'd attach these up here with some brads that I cut off the backs of and then just um, glued them on. Um, my handles I have covered on both sides and there's a piece of chipboard in the center so that they would be nice and sturdy and strong. And then on the um, side here I made one of the, um, this is the first one I made of the keychain number twos. So I actually put this one on a keychain. Um, the back, this one I didn't do the back on. So this one I just um, took the one piece I wanted to do and just, you know, uh, rolled it over this um, keychain piece and then just glued it down. Okay, and then I attached also some, you know, this big bead and this little um, chain of beads that somebody had made me, along with this little, it's all wrapped around there. This little charm that has a mushroom on it thought that looked cute with it too and then I just kind of attached it with some seam binding there and then I did make this one a shaker um, and I put I just used vellum over it so I didn't um, stack it up there's no foam in there it's just a layer of the of the paper and then a layer of the um, vellum just put a few little flat um, sequins in there and then I used the bow that comes with this set and then a sprig um, that's from the um, book mini album not book door <laughs> mini album set so i did decorate the back other than these two things that are holding the, the handles on so very cute so i also used the door mini album to make this card um this is the only one i've made so far and um these are all the pieces that come with it i didn't make a mini album i just made a card and I didn't use all the layering pieces and stuff. Just I usually don't do go all out usually on the first one. <clears throat> Sometimes I do, I guess. I guess it's kind of half and half maybe. Um, but I didn't, you know, use all the trim pieces and stuff. And I, I put the double loop bow um, from Scrap Diva on here as, you know, across the center. So it's attached on this one side. And then these are some more of those sprigs that I just showed you on another thing. I cut them out of some patterned paper and then also some vellum and stuck them up underneath there. Then I just used some stickers. Um, the collection that I'm using for all these projects is the um, Simple Stories. Um, 
I think it's Harvest Market. Very cute. I love it because it's got more than just, you know, orange and yellow and brown. <laughs> it's got that teal and then some of the brighter pink and that kind of stuff. So I really like the colors on that for fall colors. So anyway, if I was going to do this again, I would not do it the same way. Um, so in order to make it a card, what I so it would open up, what I did was, so I cut my back layer out of the biggest piece and then I layered a piece of vellum on top of that for the inside where the card part is. And then this is the front that I cut out of pattern paper and then I backed it you know, on the back here with some vellum. I think it's a pink vellum. No, it's, it's regular. Um, um, but I didn't line either side with the little trim pieces that come in this set. Okay, but what I did was I took this piece, which is for the side to make your, you know, your um, binding to make it a mini album. Um, I took this and I cut it out once and then I just trimmed off one of each side so I just kind of like went over about maybe you know like a quarter inch or so I guess and I just trimmed it straight up there and I did that on both sides and that's what I used to um, um, put inside here like right inside there so that and it's sandwiched in between these layers so that's what allows it you know to open and close okay so I, that's how I did that um, but for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I'm not sure why I did that. But so rather than just have the bow across here, I guess maybe the reason I did it was because of these. I just want, didn't want these things out in the air. So I, I put another bow back here um, right behind it so that, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that again when I do it next time because I don't like the looks of it open. But I, I guess I kind of did it to kind of, you know, make it more together with these little pieces hanging down here. So these weren't just kind of hanging in midair right there. But I should have got them up higher. So anyway, try and ignore all that, guys. <laughs> so I'll be making something else out of it that will be better. But I wanted to show you this because it, you know, it's pretty. And that's how you would make a card um, is you use just little pieces to in order to, you know, cut the, the side piece down in order to, to make a card out of it. So the flaps open and close. So anyway, when you open it up, Here's the base layer back here, the pink, and then I did the smaller label layer that's stitched um, out of vellum, and then I stamped it and embossed it in gold. It says, from my heart to yours. This is a stamp set that's also from Scrabby, but it's from the um, Valentine um, stamp set. So I stamped that there, and then I used this little circle that came from, I think this is a little piece that goes around the outside of the, yeah, right here. It's this outside piece for the of the um, sunflower part. So I put that right there, and then just a cute little bow up there. So, and yeah, I didn't keep going with this. This would have been, you know, if I would have liked how I turned, how I did this part, I would have went ahead and covered all these pieces. You know, put the put the layering pieces on there so it would look nicer. But since I wasn't liking it anyway. Um, I didn't go to all the extra work, but I mean, I love the print. <laughs> so, and that's how you would make a card if you want to just make a card and not, you know, a mini album. So I'll do another project and share it with you guys. So you can see that. So that's the card. And then I did a couple more of the keychains. So this is one, this is just the play. This one, I didn't do a shaker. I just um, cut out a, piece from the, the pattern paper and then I just trimmed it with the with the border piece that you would use to make a shaker and then this is the flower from the new flower set uh, um, that's called the fringe flower set that's really pretty and I just put a little center in there and a piece you know just a heart popped up and then this is the bow that comes with it I love this bow <laughs> I'm gonna be using it all the time um, and then just an enamel dot inside and this one I did both sides and so then I just sandwiched this little um, ball and what are we? I don't even know what you call these. These ball and chain, ball ball chain with a hook. I don't I don't really know what you call them. But um, anyway, I just sandwiched that in there, glued that in there between there. And then um, another one of the bows. 
and then I attach the pocket. Now this pocket is really cute for gifting things like um, like an embellishment or like rosettes. They just they fit right down and they're so pretty. And then plus they decorate also as they're you know as they're being stored in there. And then there's a layering piece for the little pocket. And there's some ephemera from the collection. Another one of those little Brad things. So there's that one. And this is the other one I did. This one I did do a shaker. But I didn't <clears throat> layer it up. This one again, I just have my pattern paper behind here. And I just took a piece of the vellum. And the, the you know, the shaker trim part. And I just um, glued it all around. And then I just poured some of this, these cute little... They're like just like little gold hearts they're down there so you have to keep it real thin if you're going to not you know not layer it so anyway that's behind there and i just used some ephemera pieces and chipboard pieces and stuff to decorate it there's the bow again and then i also decided just to um tie some black and white twine up there and this one i um i sewed it and <laughs> up here it started to get too thin and come apart because of the stitching that was already there and then I stitched it and it made it start to come undone so that's why I kind of put the bow up there too to kind of hide that and and it's all um, and it has two layers also so this is again was attached around <clears throat> this binder ring but this can just you know unhook and it, it can pull out <clears throat> okay and then the other side it looks like this so again the bow and again the pocket and just some little ephemera pieces and stuff layered up and again i just this is just a rosette i had just you know laying on my desk so i just stuck it in to show you guys give you guys an idea but you know how pretty this is a little bit bigger one than this so you know this is probably that's about two and an eighth wide so you know it could fit you know a nice little embellishment or little gift or something in there so super cute and then again like I did on here just attach it to you know a bag or or a box or something that you made for somebody and just you know just hang it on just how cute you know sorry the birds going crazy again okay so that's that that's another one of those I made and then I'll just give you another peek at my I love this one <laughs> which is my cute little truck that I made a box this is the very first I put together and I was telling you I don't usually put go all out on the first one that I make, but this one I kind of did, and um, I love how it turned out. So I didn't want to just make the truck; I made a box out of it. And um, so I want to show you too. I got these. I've been looking for something to put in the back, and I want it to match. So I found these cute little like um, sweater material type little um, um, pumpkins at the dollar store. So and they look so cute in there. So. Anyway, just for now, I have them just like as a deck, you know, a decorative piece in the back of my truck. So, I still have, I mean, I made the box the whole length of the truck. Not just, you know, like the, not just like the bed of the truck. I made it the whole length of the, of the truck so I could add a bunch of embellishment or whatever in there. I've got some couple little die cut words down inside there. But, I love this, how, and how it turned out, and I love how the box turned out. I didn't decorate the back, I just have it all. You know, up on um, 110 pound cardstock. I think I showed you guys this. Here's the front with the eye with the lights, and then the back like the like the um, license plate says "fall" on it. So just another look at that with the cargo loaded in the back. <laughs> the cute little blue pumpkins. So anyway, that's my quick project share. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below, and. Yep, I have another one coming up. I got another project I am working on. I got to get it finished, and then I'll be showing you that soon. So thank you so much for watching. I will link Erica's shop. Um, all the dies that I have used here will be linked below. I will link my affiliate link. So if you decide to pick any of these up, make sure to use my link so it'll share a little of the um, profit with me. It doesn't cost you anymore. And then make sure to use my discount code POLKA10, P-O-L-K-A-10, so that you save yourself some money, okay? All will be linked. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out, whoa, I knocked stuff off, sorry. All my stuff, um, everything you can find um, at the www.scrapdivadesigns.com, okay? Be sure to follow along the hashtag 
scrap do designs to see what everybody's making okay guys talk to you soon bye bye